Hey guys, Doc. I'm actually back here on the putting green, watering it, and I figured I'd show you a miracle tip on your putting stroke that I'll guarantee you will take five strokes off your game the first time you try it. Stop thinking. Let things happen and be the ball. And it doesn't even take long to learn it. Matter of fact, I'll give you 200% of your money back. Let's see, zero times two is zero. Yeah, I'm safe there, so hold on. Hey guys, yeah, I played a lot of golf when I was young. I even played some competitive golf. But about two years ago, I came up with a simple little putting stroke cure or fix that you don't even have to think about. And it's never been shown to anyone else in the world, so you're the first one to see it. One of the key points is that the club face has to be square to the target when it makes contact with the ball. So it really doesn't matter. So if you go open to close, it doesn't matter. If you go straight pendulum back and forth, it doesn't matter. The key is, is to have this club face square at the time of impact towards your target. So here is the problem. The problem is that most of us hold a club with two hands like this, some form or another. And so as we're moving, our wrists have a tendency to turn slightly or our shoulders turn our club. So our club head, club head has a tendency to rotate and the club is not square. And what I'm gonna show you today is a very simple method. So here's how you hold your club. Put your hand on it like normal. And all I'm gonna have you do is just put your thumb on your club just like this and the rest of your hand is open. So let me show you again. Hand on the club like normal. Put your hand just like this. Thumb on the club and the rest of your hand is flat. Just like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna maintain that all the way through. Now it's gonna do two things and here's the thought process. My back of my hand and my palm when I make contact with my ball, are going to be facing my target. It's almost impossible to screw this up. The other thing that happens is, is timing. So a golf club, a golf swing, should really be sort of a 1-1,000 one, 1, hit, 1-1,000 one, 1, hit, 1-1,000 one, 1, hit. That's the way your club should go through. So it's a nice swing and back and forth. And of course, what we do is when we putt, if we mess it up, what we're doing is we're going back and forth back forth. Well, you can't do that fourth motion when your hand is open. You lose that control. And so one of the things that happens is this is now you're going to get a smooth back and forth swing. He's got a beautiful back swing. Dad, oh, he got all of that one. He's got to be pleased with that. The crowd is just on his feet here. He's a Cinderella boy. Uh... So I'm going to take a putt. That's sort of a normal putt here. And I'm going to show you what the two two types of strokes that people generally do, and then I'm going to show you this new improved miracle putt. So this is actually not a putting green. This is a chipping green. It's kind of bumpy because right now it's just regular Bermuda, just so you know. So putt number one would be the open to close, like a normal golf shot. So I would line up, open to close. So that is an open to close shot, normal grip. The other putt that most of the people use is more of a pendulum. So they stand right over the ball and they think about just going back and forth, pendulum style. Back and forth, pendulum style. And that works well. But with both of those strokes, you can get the yips. <laughs> and here's how you cure the yips. All you're gonna do, again, put your hand on your club. I'm gonna put my hand on my club. I'm gonna take this hand just like this. And I'm just gonna lay this here, put my finger here, and this is gonna be here. So my palm is gonna to be towards the target and the back of my hand is towards the target when I swing. It's also gonna limit how fast I can go forward because I have to wait for that club to come forward because I'm not gripping it. And what you'll find, you'll find that almost all of your strokes are going to go more dead towards your target. So let me try that again.
So remember guys, you can incorporate this hand position with just about any putting stroke. So if you have an inside to out putting stroke, if you have a pendulum putting stroke, I want you to understand that what we're doing is we're just putting our hand lightly on this. We're losing the control with this backhand and just putting our thumb on that club. Don't grip the club, just keep it open. And as you come through, I want you to focus back of the palm, back of the hand and your palm. The concept is, is those two things, as you come through, are gonna face the target. It's not a professional putting stroke. This is a putting stroke that you can use, especially an amateur golfer can use to really drop down some of your strokes. Again, with your inside to out or with your pendulum straight putt, this is a real good trick just to think about getting that club head focused directly towards your target. Backyard golfing with Doc. <laughs> it's hot. Can't go anywhere and play golf right now. So uh, we're playing at home. I'll talk to you later. Doc.